today's video I'm going to show you how to create this map zoom effect. You will need to go to Google Maps and turn on satellite. Now you can search for a place where you want to do the effect. Next you will need to turn off the labels, this will make the map look clean. Next you will need to zoom in where you want the effect to start and take a screenshot. For the second screenshot, zoom out a little bit and make another screenshot. Now you will need to drag the map to the place where you want the effect to end. Here you don't zoom in or zoom out, but just make another screenshot and save it. For the last screenshot you will need to zoom in a little bit. a little bit like this. Insert them in After Effects and create a new composition. The next step that we are going to do is to scale the two pictures so they can fit each other. To make this step a little bit easier, you can load opacity on the first layer by pressing letter T on your keyboard. Next thing that you will need to do is to link the screenshots to a null object. Go to layer, new and null object. Now select both layers and link them to the null object. Now you can move the both of the screenshots by just moving the null object. Now drag in the next screenshot and align them with the other two. Also link this screenshot with a null object. Now do the same with the last screenshot.
turning on the title action safe, it's easier to find the center point of your home. Now select all the layers and to make them 3D by clicking this button right here. To create a camera just press layer new camera. Now select the camera layer and press P on your keyboard. At the first second you want to create a keyframe. Now scroll a little bit further in your clip and drag the camera away from the map. Now scroll forward for about a second and a half and drag the camera just a little bit more away from the map. Now go to the null object and press P on your keyboard. Then scroll forward for about a second and move the map to the place where you want to zoom in. Add a new keyframe to the camera layer, scroll forward for about a second and zoom into the object where you want the effect to end. Now to make the effect look even smoother, you can easy ease the keyframes. effect I also added some clouds. Make the clouds 3D and link them to the null object. Now select the clouds layer and press P on your keyboard. Here you can change the position and just play around until it looks nice. To add more clouds, just duplicate the layers and change the positions. You can easily change the scale and the rotation and just add as many clouds as you want. 